In this world, there are good wizards, bad wizards, and all in between. But nothing in this world is greater than the god Honk Saram, who watches over our world, giving us objectives, rules, and keeping the world in line. Don't anger the god or he will smite you. Welcome to Fairy Tale Origins. Hello everybody, Ginger Shadow here, and welcome back to some more Fairy Tale Origins with me and on the way because I'm on my own today and Demon's still went AWOL and doing whatever. I don't know, Demon's been gone for a lot last week, God. <laughs> May have to just accept that he's kind of. I don't know, just stuff's happening with him. So whenever he returns, he'll be. He'll be welcome back very gladly, because yeah, I've been needing him for a lot of stuff and he's not been on. Ah, uh, I just have to improvise different plans. Like, I would have loved to introduce Demon to Rainbow. That would have been fun. It would have a good way of testing Rainbow as well, but we'll have to save that fun already. Hey guys, welcome back to Fairy Tale Origins, where the server's been quite dead today, actually. There's not been very many... I don't think I've seen anyone on all day. Like, I've been on all day, because my computer would die if I tried to do I'd have to re-log, like, every... 40 to an hour minute, like, I don't know. So, like, 40 minutes to an hour. But no, um... And I've just I've been on quite a bit today, just doing bits and pieces, doing work, getting the work in, and as you can see, walls done. In this side, uh, I've not finished the full wall. Like the, the outer wall's not done, the middle's not done. But we'll worry about that later. At least the outside wall's done. So we've got these big black bit of wall here. I need to start putting red bits of design down it as well. I don't know. I, I'm not an artist. I really should try and ask Zoro or Inmo to come help me, because <laughs> I'm really bad at the whole art thing. But never mind. We'll worry about that later. But yeah, at least I got that done, and I was doing other stuff, which I'll show off in just a minute. But yeah, big thing I did, I went and moved all the villages over. Because, yeah, these sods, a uh, Dr. Triazars is right in there as well. Yeah, I found more villagers too. And yeah, I just decided I'll put them all in here, I'll get them so they're in the breeding process. I actually have a light mage as well, but he's vanished. If any luck, we can get a child to spawn. Then I can steal it, because <laughs> that's what we do. But yeah, these guys are safe. Like, everyone's saying, oh, you're abducting villagers. I thought you were a good guy. I am saving them. Okay, if we let them out in the wilderness, think what could happen. A zombie could come along and they could get destroyed. Look, if they're here like this, they're safe. Like, look, these torches keep them safe. Arguably, I could have just put the torches down their town, but we're not worried about those details, will we? And they don't know. They just think that this box is magical and keeps them safe. Those people are all war people. They survived the zombie apocalypse and stuff. And yeah, it's just... Don't question it. But anyway, um, other thing I was up to, this room. Oh, oh, I've had fun with this room. Um, the floor used to be littered with items, but I cleared them up. Go on, Skeleton, take your best shot. Good job, Skeleton. He can't, he can't get me, there's a torch right there, so he, he literally can't get me. Um, yeah, so basically, I gabbed a bunch of spawners using appropriate, or steel, as you were. As you were, um, as you would call it. Lightning chain strike, go! Oh yeah, I learned Lightning Chain Strike. I don't know if that's... I actually can't remember when I made this, like... I don't think I had it last video, did I? Or did I? I really can't remember. Uh, but yeah, basically, I, I made this. I can, like, practice using a offensive stuff. My Arcane's actually not a really big bit as we went, so, like... I may end up going the road of becoming a Warlock and just, like, having boosted magic, but also being weak in the magic. Now, I've also got two of these life... What are you called? Life stones, I think they're called, and talismans or repairs. So now my armor constantly gets repaired by two per tick, and my health and hunger keeps going up whenever I'm standing here. Yeah, basically, oh yeah, and I've got this thing, the gravity ring. They're like, drawing items, like... <laughs> basically, if I kill all the creatures, um, items fly into here, which... Most of it's junk. Like, occasionally we're gonna get, like, a scroll for enchanting, and, like, if I've not got the enchant unlocked already, that could at least be useful. Like, there's respiration, have I got a respiration? Oh, I didn't have respiration. There we go. So now I've got a new enchantment just from here. Yeah, basically, I've just been taking the red guitar. I've just been going plop. They've all died. Then I've got an, or I've got the main stone over there. It's actually gathering up experience. So that's like seeing all the levels that come in. Now, you may think, oh, this is going to be a bit slow and boring because my original plan for this was to use it to increase my um, armor XP. As you can see, it's now down to like 500. I got the final level and everything. I got hunger regeneration, so I no longer need to eat. Assuming it's as good as it used to be in 1.7.10. I have got bonus magic XP, so now I should be leveling up a bit quicker. I have got dispelling, so that negates negative effects on me, which I do question, would that work on nausea? If that's the case, if I became a sage, could I just, like, have the pacifist ability where I gain extra health quickly? Like, the pacifist downside of, um, 
getting nausea whenever I kill stuff. Would that get negated by dispelling? That'd be cool. And then I've got freedom of movements. Now, if anyone tries to um, paralyze me with, like, entangling stuff, my boots won't allow them. Then again, I could fly anyway, so as soon as I activated that, it would not matter anyway. But, yeah, that's just the thing. But other than that, it's also just a good place for me to, like, yeah, launch lightning chain strike and just practice using that. And obviously, I'll get experience for it. So, yeah, that's just a good thing. Um, unfortunately, there's a lot of junk. Plus, it's gathering up levels in the main stone, which is also good, I suppose. Although, whenever you kill something, um, it occasionally does seem to think, like, that thing's still there. And it actually ends up becoming... It blocks my path. Whenever I try to, like, launch a spell in that direction, where the, a dead body's been a few seconds ago, it counts as still being an entity, which is really weird. I, I've noticed it a few times on the server. So, I don't, I don't know. It's a really weird one. Um, but yeah, you might think, oh, this is a bit slow, though. Um, like, so if you want to get experience up really fast... Well, don't worry, I've made a bunch of clocks, and, like, if you turn these on... Yeah, st stuff starts to speed up around here. <laughs> Boop. I could do this all in all six, although they are vanishing right now for some reason. Normally they don't. Normally they keep in. I don't know why they're disappearing. The hell? Well, the server's clearly not liking this, but whatever. Basically, normally they, like, more spawn. Like, I could turn all six of them on. Then this room would fill up pretty quick. And the floor would be just littered with items. And it is funny and glorious, and I love it. Also, chain strike go. How much experience do I get for that? Eh. Alright, I mean, I mean, it goes down more I use it. But yeah, I'm up to level 22, which still isn't that good. I, I do question how rich he's at level 62. That... Something tells me there's been a bit of um, cheat studios going on there because, like, you've seen me use uh, Ars Magic in previous series. Season 1 in Naruto, the max level I got to was 70. That was like a 6 month series where I was on it a lot. Like, Chamber Virus, I was on it a lot, a lot more than Richie, and I made it level 40. And I was actively using it. I don't know how he got to level 62. You know, there's a secret technique that he's found that's getting him tons of experience super quick. Or, I don't know, because it's. it's He's up at that level freakishly high, freakishly fast. Like, I'm looking at other people in the server and they're not anywhere near that level. So, yeah, that's that's a bit weird. I, I question that one. Like, has he got a secret? Does anyone know from watching these videos? He got some kind of secret technique thing to it. Is there more to it than meets the eye? Is like he generally reached level 62 it's stupidly fast? Or is it every video he just jumps up by a few levels unexplained? Let us know your thoughts on that one down below. <laughs> right, anyway. But yeah, that's what I've been up to off camera for a good bit. I've been getting tons of experience. I'm, I'm actually full now, so like this armor's done in its sense. Like it's it's now just for me wandering about doing stuff. So this is the armor I'll now be running around training in. So I now don't have to eat in it. And how would that work actually? Ooh, if I don't need to eat, my hunger will constantly stay at full. Like it's because I've got hunger regeneration. If that's the case, when I start regening, um, will my will my hunger stay at full? My regen will just stop at stupid level max. Oh, I wonder about that one. We need to find it in combat at some point. We need, we need to try that one out and see. But yeah, that's mostly what I've been up to. This armor is now done, so it's now ready for me just to run around and do stuff. So I, I'm negating negative effects. I shouldn't get poisoned and stuff, I don't think. Hopefully, if that's how that works. Or it might just be slowness and stuff it works on. Um, and I get bonus magic, so I'll level up quicker. Which is what I was really aiming for. That, that was the big thing I was aiming for off all this. So that's good that's there. I like that's there. But yeah, other than that though, everything's unlocked. So we can just start making spells as we go. Now, a certain point was brought up. Last episode, um, I was obviously trying to get fish. We have fish now. I managed to actually get some. I did actually... Ended up actually fishing. Like, I put the traps down and I got nothing from them. So I ended up just regular fishing and I actually caught some. <laughs> I got one... Oh, sorry. I got one salmon, which I then converted into a raw fish, which I then converted into many fish using... Tra um, using... Alchemy. There we go. So, yeah, raw fish are no longer an issue. We don't have to worry about raw fish anymore. And yeah, okay, I made I made the chain strike off camera then, didn't I? More than likely. But one thing was brought up to me, actually. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quickly do this right now. Um, so obviously, we've got those villagers that have the spears from the fire and ice mod, from the dragon mod. Why am I in that chest? That's the wrong chest. Um, the spears are actually what we need so we can get the fish really easy. That was the thing I was thinking of. You can grab the water with that spear and you can get fish really quick, which seems really good. Now... I don't, like, I tried, I actually went to them off camera and tried trading them. And I couldn't find one that would uh, give me one. And I couldn't, like, I don't know, I, I tried doing lots of trades with them and it wouldn't unlock. So, I got comments saying, why don't you try using Disarm on one of them and see. So, I'm going to try that. I'll try Disarming one of those ones and see if they drop the spear and that'll be pretty cool. 
Or it may crash the server. But if it crashes the server, luckily, you know, the server resets and we get back on. So it shouldn't be too bad. But anyway, um... What should we call this? Expelliarmus? No. No, it's terrible. What's actually that spell in Harry Potter that disarms people? Like, Expelliarmus seems to do everything, but don't worry about that. Um... I don't know what to call this. Just call it Disarm for now. If we come up with a better name, we can rename it. For the now, it's Disarm. So, alright, what do we need for this? We've probably got everything, so it's probably fine. Ba -ba -ba. We need Snowball, Orange Rune, Iron Sword, and Spell Parchment. That's actually stupidly cheap. Okay, I am down. Let's do this. So, boop. And Pentium Dust. Arrow. Snowball. Other Snowball. Orange Rune. We've got tons of them now. A iron sword. Okay, so this is the part where I need a sticko plus two iron. There we go. Glad I've got crafting bench just lying here. I like this little work here I've got going here. I actually think this is quite nice. It's very cramped, but it's quite nice. Also, apparently that snowball didn't count. All right. And then we need a spell parchment for the finish. There we are. This should be a disarm spell. Let's give it that thing. Sure. Right, now we need something to disarm, so... I'm scared to use this on mobs in case it crashes the server. Alright, let's try it on you, so... Disarm! They dropped it. That's always good. Die. Right, okay, let's go find one of those villagers. Now, I know there's a bunch of glaciers nearby here. Oh! There is a point. People are mentioning about the dragons, so... Um, apparently the dragons can spawn the glacier bound, so people are saying. Under where the fire and ice villages are. So in that case, next time demon's on... Or by myself, depending if Demon doesn't come back on soon. Um, we'll have an investigate. We'll, we'll, we'll jump around there and we'll see if we can find an Ice Dragon. Because I would like to get my hands on Ice Dragon. Speaking of dragons, uh, people, a lot of people were saying, you know, spawn in... Or not spawn in. Um, hatch the other Ice Dragons. Because, or not the Ice Dragons. Hatch all the other dragons. Because we've got like 14 eggs. I don't have them anymore. I put them down, didn't I? The bloody hell. What? Well, I've not seen this before. Um, no, don't tell me they went to the village that was here. Oh, I'm gonna guess this is a coliseum for fighting in, isn't it? It's gonna, it's gonna be a coliseum where you you fight and test your magic and stuff, isn't it? Oh God, well, that's gonna be fun. I'm gonna get my arse kicked like really hard. Richie and Xylophony are stupidly high leveled. Xylophony, I don't know. He's on the server. But I don't know if he's on more than Richie. Like, his level could be legit. How, he's the level 40s odd. I don't know how he got there really quick. Like, I feel like there must be some kind of secret that I'm missing. Also, disarm! Ah! Give me that stick, you son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, okay, it's not working. Never mind. Steal! Boop. Alright, off we go. We're keeping him for the collection. No, no, I mean, we're saving him for from heart, whatever. We're taking him home. He's all can't stop me. Uh, right, okay. Yeah, Xylophony and Richie, they're, they're stupidly high leveled for, like, how long the series has been going, for how much they're on. I don't know how much they are on, to be fair, though. Like, I can't, I can't say for certain. Like, it just, it's it's always, like, because I'm a server owner most of the time, it always counts. It, I just, I look at people's things and I look at what they've got. I do get suspicious of it stuff. Maybe that's just paranoia or maybe I am talking sense here because... I don't know how much Richie's grip's against the idea of cheating. I know my grip's not always against it. Pat and Demon and Zaro cheat and Emo cheat all the time whenever they get the chance to it. Normally it's nothing too bad because normally they know I'll get down on them for doing anything bad. But like they do occasionally do it, don't they? Yeah, you see, you've seen Pat go creative mode in Naruto Siege just recently. Demon, when he went on Naruto Unleashed, for some reason set his arch magic level to 30, then left the server. I don't know if he thought I wouldn't notice. Or he just did it because logs. I don't know. Yeah, they cheat sometimes. I don't know if Richie and his group would, just so they can, like, do more in videos. I don't know. It always seems suspicious to me. You know that they've got a super secret training technique that's getting them up really fast. It's all suspicious to me. We're supposed to be the good wizards. We're not supposed to be the ones cheating. But, whatever, I guess. <laughs> right, let's shove this guy down here where he belongs. Or, where he belongs as of now. Can you... Come on. Get out the thing. Get out the... Hold on. There we go. He's using the magic there for some reason. It wouldn't actually... Are any of you breeding yet? Like, he's... He's getting lovey-dovey down there. 
I don't feel like you are, which is disappointing, because I could really, I really would prefer it if you would already. Oh god, I'm getting punished a bit. No. Don't want to be involved in this. Alright, well, should I steal that? Maybe that's just a light spell, don't worry about that. Alright, disarm, not useful for now then. I'll just leave that alone. Damn it, make children already! <laughs> I need them for sacrificial stuff to the life guardian. God damn it. Not to Jashin, totally not to Jashin. Ah. Uh, that's a shame. Right, anyway, it was worth trying out the spear thing. I mean, I've already got fish, but I was curious if that would work. I, I didn't think it would because they're NPCs, but, you know, it's worth a try. People mention it, so I might as well try it. Right then, anyway, so um, I want to try different magic because, yeah, ours Magicka, we can just start making new spells and that as we go. I'm not doing more Psy than now. Like, people keep asking me, are you doing more PSI or, or Psy? Um... Uh, it's, it's a really difficult thing though like I really don't understand it and like I could watch a guide video on how to do it But honestly, I would do the guide video stuff like with ours Magicka I originally followed some guide videos to figure out how stuff worked But after that I learned how it worked and I could do it whereas with PSI I just generally don't understand it like I try putting the bits together and even after going through the guide stuff and them explaining it I get up more confused by the end and I could copy what they do But I would have no creativity on my own. It would just be the basic stuff that they teach in the tutorial I wouldn't be able to like I play with this stuff about I just I don't understand it. I feel like I would need another person to actually understand the mod to sit and just walk me through it and play with it a bunch with me for me to understand. So like Enmo for instance playing with it a bunch. So I'll end up I'll probably ask him at some point like how he's doing on it. And if he's actually understood it, I'll like try working with it and him again. We'll see where we can go from there. But for now Enmo's the guy that's doing that I guess because I yeah. <laughs> it's confusing. I'm sorry. It's just it's not a mod I can really get behind. So I generally don't understand it. Lexic of Britannia, though. We have tons of these. We could we could have a go at some uh, Britannia, couldn't we? Because I'm, I'm tempted to see how we can use Britannia. Like, can we get Britannia to speed up using the Project E stuff? I, I forgot what that mod was called for a second. Yeah, we could, we could give it a try. And see, also, Britannia overgrowth seeds. All right, well, we'll start from the very beginning with Britannia. Because, yeah, we've got tons of materials. I might as well give it a go. Like, the flowers might be a bit scarce on, but we could probably get some from places. So, I'm not I'm not too worried about that. Plus, if we're lucky, we should be able to speed things up using the clocks, maybe. So, I'm going to probably try that in a bit. But, right. Lexica Potania. So, Potanica. The only reason I'm really getting involved in this one is because... Now, a few people have asked me this one. Get in the hole. Ah. Get down. Ah. There we go. Um, the the thing in the intro that shows like the weird sword, lance, speary things getting summoned and shot. Um, that's like I think it's supposed to be a reference to Unlimited Blade Work slash Fate Zero, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Gilgamesh, the the King of Kings, whatever you want to call him. Um, basically that's a thing that's in Bot it's in Botanica, and you can get it somewhere down the line. It's supposed to be a reference to him. Also, we've got Iron Golem. They spawned that. I actually took him out of the pen because what's the point of being in the pen? Right, Patania, let's get started. A re uh, realistical, logical, ideolo ideologist? That's probably what that word says. Right, basics of mechanics. So, uh, welcome to Patania. So, welcome to Patania. I congratulate you on the fine choice of strapping a sapling and a boot to it. I didn't do that, but okay. Or just finding a tomb and a chest, whichever applies, the second one. You can never get this book using the arrows on the bottom of the page. Your mouse wheel or the arrow keys. Alright, good. Despite it looks, Britannia is the essence isn't is in essence a tech mod. But this well, it's actually it feels magical to me, dude. But it's a technical magical mod then, alright. The definition requires you to put uh put to use um ingenuity. I, I probably said it Thought in redstone to create the process. It's good to keep that in mind. Of course, you'll also be rewarded with cool toys, blocks, and equipment if you're worried. I'm not. I've, I've seen some of the stuff in this. It seems alright. For all intents and purposes, Batania is a mod for anyone who likes to play the game with the primary purposes of building cool things, which I do. It's, um, it's designed to be fully playable, standalone, but also playable with other mods. Um, excluding a couple cases, everything in the mod is fully automatable, only using Minecraft in itself. Okay, all right. If you happen to find yourself lost, try checking the mod's achievements or challenges, both of which can be found on the left-hand side of the book's main page. Awesome. The book is laid out in a friendly way with a good amount of handy features, so before you start jumping into playing, take a bit of time to familiarize yourself with the various tabits around the place. Around the place. 
do. Okay, I, I don't get asked, but after this, you'll be taken to a page where you can optionally start a tutorial, which will teach you the basics of the mods in around 10 minutes, give or take. However, it teaches you only the very basics. So after that, have a good foothold on those concepts. Fuller research is a, is a good idea. I, I'm bad at reading. We don't worry about that bit though. If you're unsure of what you want to learn about, hold shift while browsing through the various categories to get a quick idea of what each thing is. Let's go on I, um, index category can be very use, uh, helpful, useful, helpful uh, for searching as it contains every entry in the book in one place. And that's it for the introduction. You can move on to the tutorial now. I hope you enjoy playing uh, with Batania as much as I enjoyed making it. The dude, the author. Carry on by pressing the back button. Sure. I just share. No, why did I share it? No. Right. Back. Okay, so. Tutorial of the basics. Oh, wait. Hold on. Video will be back soon. Sorry, we don't need a video. We don't need a video. We all understand the basics. Uh, well, one could go through the various entries of the book at the leisure. There's also tutorials of sorts available. Clicking the button below will guide you through the basic concepts of Batania. Uh, you can pick between an in-game um, gator of this book or a shortest video. Yeah, in-game. There we go. Right, so. You have started your tutorial. Follow the red arrow and read the content of the, uh, to be guided through the basics of Batania. Alright, so basic mechanics. What the hell? That's why I need to be... It actually tell me how to make the lexicon of Britannia. For God's sake, game. Mystical flowers. Around the world, you may stumble across lots of flowers. You know that. There's a total of 16 different colours. We know that. There's also possible to grow these flowers using floral fertili uh, fertilizer. Read on. Okay, that's different. What's that? Uh, flowers are seen... Um, flowers, as far as I can see, there's a bunch of flowers. Cool. These flowers can be plucked for mystical petals, which can be used by making magical instruments and plants like... By making magical... Okay. Uh, Right-clicking a petal on the ground will bury it, having it emit particles. These petals can also be crushed into floral powder, which functions much like uh, mundane pieces of dye. Okay. So that's a petal. That's the plant. Okay. Plucking petals um, off the flower. Uh, and we can make turn into dust with this stuff. All right, cool. That gets us dust, which ah, uh, this stuff's got EMC. Or some of it does. Some of it doesn't. Okay, that's the thing. Green pills in the powder. Blah blah blah. blah. That rose there. Green mundane flowers in the powder. Well, I suppose if we need it, sure. Uh, right clicking the floral powder on any wool or carpet will change its color. Or changes the car. Mixing the floor powder with some bone meal, it's possible to create a different type of fertilizer. Okay, that's good if I ever need more coloring, but unless that's part of the mod, I probably won't need it. Ooh! Floral fertilizer. Okay. So, what does this stuff do? There's also a taller variant of typical so flowers spread around the place. These can be gathered with shears, but can be used to obtain twice the amount of petals. Okay, hold on. Like, is that not one over there? That's not one of the big ones. Hold on, have we got shears on us by any chance? I feel like we should have shears. I'd be very surprised if we didn't have a pair somewhere. No, okay, on, open the alchemist thing. Shears! Ba -ba. Quickly tries. It probably has to do with botanica shears, doesn't it? Whatever, are you one of the things? But I got a flower. <laughs> Uh, we can get Mr. the pills. Okay, that's kill, I guess. Whatever. I open you back up. Oh, thank God it stays at the right page. Huzzah. Alright, it needs to get you four petals, which is cool. I mean, get petal blocks. Awesome. That's the good. Petal ar aroma therapy. In order, for, in order for a botanist to create plant life that can do their bidding, they also need a special means of infusing plants with mystical energy. Luckily, the petal apothologically does just that. And that's this thing. Okay, I, I remember this thing from Naruto when I first did it. The block can be placed in the world and given some water by using a water bucket. Uh, will accept any mystical petal thrown into it, releasing their energies. Once one is inserted to correct petals, throwing some seeds in will uh, finalize the process. Okay, tossing in a full bucket will also... Fill the thingy with water. 
Quite a few plants can be made using this method. For information, read on to the functional flora and generation flora section of the lexicon. Okay, shift right click for the pet. Okay, whatever. We need, to, we need the very basics, dude. Here we go. So, a petal, some cobblestone, some cobblestone slabs. We'll take one of them. Might as well make one. Right, where are we doing Botanica, though? Like, what's over here is empty. Yeah, here will do fine. All right, so let's get a crafting table. Let's get a crafting station, because, you know, you need both. Let's go from there. Now, I don't know what, we, like, plant-wise, I don't actually know what we've got. Like, I don't think we've actually got very many stored, because I don't, I haven't really been bothering with Batania plants. So, meh, there's probably not that many floating around. But it's fine. We'll worry about that later. Wait, do I have any plants? I probably don't. Hold on, let's quickly check the chest and see. A few people have said I should start Batania at some point since I had all those lexicons. So, I might as well... I'll start the very basics of it and see if I can use the time watches to speed it up at the very least. Because that could be fun. Um, I've got two of them. That's some. I've got no more in there. Okay. Did you get EMC value by any chance? No, it doesn't. Okay, that's fine. So I, I didn't expect it would anyway. I don't know what overgrown seeds do. We're going to take them anyway because we're going to store them. What are these? Alright, I've had this box for a very long time. <laughs> I keep looking at it. I generally don't know what's in it. I'm curious, like, if I can sit the bugger down, but I don't think I can, but I'm tempted just to try again just to see. Oh, yeah, here's all the stuff Demon got. <laughs> Jesus, Demon. So much stuff. All right, there's nothing else in here of value. I see, there's actually tons of stuff of value. It's just not viable at this exact moment. All right, there, there's one of the things that's required. It's useful. Um, yeah, yours, Magicka 2. There's, yeah, there's another Britannia plant. Okay. So we've got a few Britannia plants. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, we can get Britannia plants from the bags. Oh, I can just open up loads of bags and get more Britannia plants then. Ooh, that'll be handy. Probably. Maybe not, but I'm, I'm going to hope it'll be handy. <laughs> Here's the open. All right, do I have any stored in here? I've got 10 of those, which probably is good. I've got a bunch of Britannia things there. Um... Anything else? Anything else? Batania? Batania anywhere? Nope, think that's it. Okay, well, that's still a decentish amount, so that's cool. Alright, let's quickly head back down. Leave a chest in here just filled with this stuff, and we'll just see what we can get going. So, right. Let's quickly get, grab one of the alchemical chests. So, shove it there, and shove all this stuff. This box, can I, can I do anything with you? Like... Oh. What have I done? <laughs> like, generally, what have I done? Like, I just released it, a puff of smoke came out. Alright, well, if anyone knows that this box, I'm going to leave it there, and we're just going to see if, like, one day Herobrine or someone comes to kill me, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, we'll just we'll leave it there for now. We'll see what happens. Right, okay, so I need some petals to get started. I'm gonna give me two. Oh, because it's a tall one. That Yeah, it's a regular one. Okay, makes sense. Right, we need cobble. Grab a stack of that. And. Blip. Blip, 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 blip. And. Blip, blip. Blip, there we go. So here's this thing, which. I don't know how useful you're going to be, but we'll shove you here for now. There we go, and... Probably should get, like, a full water source going, just so I've got infinite water, shouldn't I? It isn't that hard. I, I used to have a lake, a river next to me, but, you know, kind of got froze over, didn't it? Actually, what am I doing? I'm about to, like, jump... I'm about to go and actually, like a scrub, try and fly over this wall. No. Shift magic. That works. Jesus, man. Don't forget who you are. You've got magic at your disposal. Shift, though. There we go. But, now, I know the guild's got a bunch of Batania stuff just already stored. I don't know if I'll ever pay a visit to the guild to, like, maybe get access to some of that stuff at some point. Because I don't know how far along they are. I don't know if they've gotten, like, the king's... Whatever it is. The king's sword thing. But if they have or haven't, whatever, I'll, just, I'll try and work towards it myself and see what we can do. Right, so we've got this thing. So that's cool. So, next up, we've got the pure daisy. The pure daisy is not only the most basic, but also the most important flower a botanist can have. The flower will purify any adjacent wooden stone blocks, as seen by the next page, into, uh, into their purified counterparts, living wood and living rock. 
which can be crafted using crafting thingy. So just give it a minute or so. All right, so there's a living wood twig, which we need living wood for. Okay. A few other blocks can also be purified, placing them around the flower. While not as unique and essential as living blocks, perhaps this might come in handy. This includes netherrack and cobblestone, soul sand and sand, ice in the packed ice, and water into snow. Cool. And um, we have to put four whites. All right, um, to get purified, we need to get four whites. Okay, that's, that's a start then. So that's the goal for now, is to get four white. Oh, wait, hold on. Can't we... No, we can't colour these different, can we? Hold on, can we use you to make whites? That might be useful. A flower pouch might actually be useful. Probably would be useful. Probably should do that. Um, Right, we've got a mana spreader. Okay, that's all the basic mana stuff. Don't know what that is. That looks cool. Right, then, let's, let's get one of those bags. That's probably a good idea. So we need some wool, which... Yeah, that's... Wrong thing. Wooloo. One, two, three, four, five. And grab that. And bit, 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 bit. There's the pill. Flower pouch. Right, so now I guess I need to fly around and just gather flowers, I guess. Which shouldn't actually be that hard because you see them all over the place. I just need to find a bunch of them, which... Yeah, like, there's some already, actually. Yeah, this shouldn't be too hard. It's like... Oh, hello. Alright, so it's just the little flowers it gathers. So if I if I grab you... Oh, okay, you have to manually store them. Okay, okay, I see. Alright, so we've got some blues, which isn't what we need, but whatever. <laughs> whatever works, I guess. Now, okay, it's whites we need. Let's, how, do, how do we get whites? Hold on. So, at Botania. And... There's the pure daisy. Oh, yeah, it'll be this one, won't it? Hello? Mystical agriculture can mystical fluorescence. Oh, how do I make these? Premium da, uh, mystical flower cluster, which is made with four Botania flowers. Okay, we can do that. All right, we can... <laughs> We can make this much easier for ourselves than we thought it originally would be. Okay, we can actually use the the magical plants thingy growing to get even more magical plants. Awesome. <laughs> oh, these magical mods, they cut fit together so nicely. So, so nicely. Are you a Batania? You are a Batania, Flynn. Come to me. Come to me. All of you, all of you come to me. The more I get, the easier this will be. All right, we're going to have to start growing them then, I guess. That'll be fun. Oh, I'm supposed to use shears on those, aren't I? God damn. Or am I, am I meant to use shields on it? I'm pretty sure I am. May use shields on the big ones. Next one I see, I'm going to try breaking it from the top. If that doesn't work, I'm going to use shields on it from now on. Because, yeah, I'm pretty sure you have to use shields on that. Right. I don't think we're going to find any witch. Oh, hello. There's black ones. I was about to say, I don't think I'll find any black in a witchwood forest. But never mind. They are spawning in a witchwood forest. Because, you know, these mods go together quite nicely. They also normally muck up the spawn rate for, like, the tarmor and stuff, but... Yeah, it doesn't seem to be a problem this time around. There's some more there. Alright, well, let's... The fact that I can use the Magical Crops mod, basically, to mix in with this, that's pretty good. That'll, that'll make life so much easier. We'll just be able to grow tons of things, because I can use the Harvest Goddess, uh, Harvest Goddess Band. Just super grow them. Then, can I get, like, any... Okay, no, that needs to be that. I think you can only make the basic. Yeah, I can make any of the basic plants. That's like six of them. That's still good. That's still handy. It means if I need any, essentially, any of the basic color ones, I can get them. So, yeah, that's good then. I can, I, I can work with that. All right. Uh, how, how much have we got right now? I've got a few, but probably not enough. Because, yeah, I need at least, what, 16 plants, I think? Or at least six, or maybe sixteen of the same types in order to get four of the essence that I think can be mixed. But whatever, we need at least sixteen flowers to make this work. And there's a bunch of greens. God, the Batania plants—they actually blend in quite well. Well, they blend. They stand out, but like I don't notice them <laughs> because you know they, I don't really pay attention to Batania plants. They're just—they're just like flowers. Well, they are flowers, but they're just—they blend so nicely in the background. They're just—they're just there to look pretty. A lot of time, obviously they've got uses, but like. I just, I'm just not used to actually having to pay attention to them. I normally just ignore them because they're not what I'm looking for. 
You're never normally what I'm looking for. Right, we got four of the white ones too. Okay, I think we should have enough now for what I want to do. So let's quickly... Blup, blup, blup. Wee. Actually, what am I, why am I being a scrub? We've got freaking return shift though. There we go. Also, just mark again for good measure because I actually get some good experience marking. <laughs> surprisingly. Uh, let's mark over the Batania bit. There we go. Boop. Alright, pure daisy. It requires four uh, white petals. Well, we have four now. Huzzah. Alright, store the cobble and the slabs in here because they're useful. Store all the plants for now because may as well. That one too. Alright, so if this is how this works, I should be able to... No, I didn't mean to plant it. Right, I throw it in, don't I? There we go. Now, all right, we throw seeds in next. Okay. I've got too many things that look similar, and that's not even what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the transmutation table. All right, seed those. And bloop. Awesome. Pure daisy. Actually, hold on. Let's put you here, because that seems like a good spot. Right, now I can take, like, cobble, right? And I can just, like, put cobble around it. Ba -ba, ba -ba -ba. Now, here's the experiment time. Can I take a pedestal and a watch of flowing time and essentially speed up, well, the time? So let's just... Burp. Actually, look. Come off, you. Fast forward. Or maybe I'll have to be above it. Hold on, let's grab you. Alright, we're right above it now. Fast forward. Go! Are you going to speed up the, the time for the pure day? I don't know if that'll work, but I'm tempted this to see. Like, I don't know if Batania can merge with this. I don't know if you can speed up Batania. I actually don't know how long it normally takes. Like, it takes about a minute, doesn't it? Uh. Okay, essentially this might not be working. I will we'll we'll just leave that there anyway. Right. Over to here. So. Boop. Boop. Tier 2 flower. We need a tier 2 crafting seeds for the mystical stuff in Pudio Mystics or whatever it's called. Okay, well, we can get some of that easily because it's just a bunch of this. No? Oh, yeah, the crafting thing. Hold on. Master Infuser. Blip. There we go. That's what we need. Right, so we've got that. I left all the plants over at the thing, didn't I? <laughs> Sorry, hell. Right. Do I need tier two seeds, did it say? Yeah, two, tier two crafting seeds. Okay, how do you make tier two craft? I forget. How do you make how do you make all this stuff? Tier two crafting seeds are made with tier one crafting seeds, which are made with base crafting seeds, which are made with that. Okay, that's easy enough. So four of you mixed with this, mixed with that, right? Hold on, I, I okay. Hold on, I need the other seeds as well, don't I? Oh, yeah, it's just regular seeds. All right. I've not done this in ages either. Like, I've already got stuff set up for this. And I honestly forget how it works. All right. We need these things, which I found just randomly mining. Then we get this. That gets us tier one crafting seeds. You mix it with this. That gets us tier two crafting seeds, which is what we need. Plus, we need four of that. Plus, we need then the plants. So, yeah, okay. That's not doing crap for that. So, we can't speed up for Tanya then. That's a shame, I guess. <laughs> kind of as expected, though. Right, that's eight. That's four, and that's four. That should be enough, right? Can I? Yep. Here we go. Bip and bip, and then with that all together. Bip, 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 bim, and bim, 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 bim. There we go. Mystical seeds. You know what? I can grow these over here. We don't have to do it up here. We can do it over here. So, hold on. Grab ourselves a hoe. 
Actually, yeah, I saw that. I'll just shove them right here. This this will work. Yeah, I saw it. You can go here. Plus, where's my hardest harvest, har harvest bend? There we go. I essentially could just, well, I could just grab the essence this way, which could get me one at a time. Or, grow. Come on, there we go. Can break it and just keep hoping that I get more seeds, I guess. Because why not? Right, yeah, I'll do this more off camera then so I can get more oh, just more flowers in general. What the hell? I could just get bounced about there. Can you at least give me one more seed in the video just to make sure I know that it can give me more seeds? I know it must. Like all the other magic stuff gives me more seeds as well. Whatever, somebody give me one the net, but whatever, that stuff, that'll be useful. Also, I don't need you right now. Also, flower bag, let's just actually take all you out and just shove you in here because you're more useful in there. Alright. That's cool though. So, yeah, I can grow more seeds. <clears throat> and basically, we can get any color we want, which is good. So that makes life simple for us. That's that's always nice. Boop. There we go. So, yeah, I'll work on that more off camera as we go. Have you seriously not bloody done any yet? Watch, are you actually making life worse for this poor plant? I don't know. <laughs> I don't actually know, like, what speeds it up and stuff. Oh, dear. Probably, I probably... No. Alright, don't go digging stuff, Jesus Christ. Right. We don't need you. Don't need you. Don't need you right now. <laughs> oh, God, inventory management. Not one of my strong suits. You're useful. Wait. Oh, it gave me fertilizer. That's what it's giving me. That's no use to me, really. Fertilizer's never been any use to me. All right, that sits in here. This goes in there. Give me more seeds. Be fair. God damn it. But all right. That can go more as it, over time. The pure daisy, I guess, will eventually turn this stuff into living stuff. At least, like, with Tanya's got to start. You know, I'll read through more of the book. I'll do more of it off camera, I think, in my downtime. Now, at least I'll make a start in Batania. We'll see where we can go with it. But yeah, Batania, I'll make a start in it properly and we'll see where we can get with it. If I'm lucky, we can get the Gilgamesh look like weird, magic y, shitty thing, even if it doesn't work like as a very good weapon. At least it'll look awesome. That That's the goal at the end of the day. I'm sure a lot of people have also went for that as well because it looks awesome. So, people in the guild probably already have it, knowing them. But anyway, guys, other than that, though, uh, with time ticking on, I think I will end this video here. So, thank you all very much for watching. So, yeah, as always, leave a like if you've enjoyed the show. And if we're lucky, next time Demon will be back on. So, maybe we can hatch some of those eggs. Because yeah, I'm fairly certain Demon took them all back. Like, did I not put them in this chest? And, like, yeah, they've all been took at this point. I'm pretty certain that's how it went. So, yeah, if Demon comes back, we can try hatching them. We can try getting a male dragon maybe breeding some of the dragon stuff go hunting for an ice dragon and stuff and get maybe some of that going i would love to go freeze mitch all mitch's lands the bastard went and froze mine then again people are saying about that blood lake that he's got saying about, oh he's got that blood lake you know he shouldn't oh, if you do that you have to go repair it he froze my entire lands <laughs> as annoying it is having to break all the snow for god's sake god damn him no i need to do something more original too i can't just do the same thing back that'd be boring no, we'll figure something better as we go. But uh, yeah, no, we'll get our revenge on him eventually. We'll do, we'll do it eventually. Oh, no, no, yeah, I'm just going to continue using Ars Magica. Keep leveling up. We'll, I'll work on Batania off camera and we'll, we'll see where we can go from there. But yeah, if we're lucky, Demon's Bank will do more dragon stuff. If not, I don't know. I'll see where I'm at with the other mods and we'll decide from there. But if you guys have got any suggestions for what other magic stuff you think I should do or focus on, other than the dragons with Demon, uh, let us know down in the comment section down below. But yeah, guys, other than that, thank you all very much for watching. We'll see you next time for my Fairy Tale Origins, where we'll keep being magical and doing magical stuff as you do. Today we've done a lot of plant magic, earth magic, sage magic, I don't know. We've done a lot of nature magic though, so that's been nice, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you next time for more of this, that, or whatever else we do. Goodbye, everybody.